this is Movie Town. Leslie Mitchell reporting. To solve the secrets of the North, a Canadian expedition based on Churchill, Manitoba, on the western shores of Hudson Bay, is engaged on what they call Operation Muskox. The expedition is composed of 50 members of the Canadian Army and Air Force who are braving extreme cold and many other hardships on their 3,500 mile trek into the barren lands. These scenes were taken at Churchill when the base was being established there. They appear to be expert at building igloos, those Eskimo snow houses, which, by the way, most Eskimos have never even seen. Of course, modern Arctic travel has been simplified. Mastery of the air has seen to that, and incidentally, Eskimo children at Churchill were quick to make use of the slipstream for tobogganing purposes. The real use of the planes, however, was to carry supplies forward from the base, an obvious solution nowadays to one of the greatest problems that polar explorers used to face. As the first plane gets away, we have a good impression of what the base really looks like. Pretty small and lonely too, I should think. But the advance bases which are to be set up when the supplies have been dropped will be smaller and still more desolate. The object of the expedition? Well, now that Arctic frontiers are no longer guarded against modern war by their ice and snow, it may be as well to explore every frontier, just in case. Eskimos were naturally more interested in air travel than in frontiers, and perhaps they were envious of the plane though possibly they're really better off without them. Back at Churchill itself, an accidental fire had been warming things up. Sabotage was denied, although the big spy hunt in Canada has been connected in some reports with Operation Muscox. However that may be, the final scene shows part of the expedition moving off from base in their snowmobile. These vehicles were originally designed for a proposed invasion of Nazi-held Norway. Now they make Arctic travel, well, almost a pleasure. Good news from China.